This is a pair of Lonsdale shoes. Lonsdale is a company here in the UK that was originally a boxing brand, but was then bought by Sports Direct and has since moved down market. I will be drawing a line on the sole of the shoe where I will be then cutting it with this scalpel, and let's get to it. I'll talk you through the process, uh, not that it's a terribly complicated process. Um, first I'm going to remove the insole. It's a bit of a flimsy uh, foam when I finally get it out. Um, it's not that thin, but it's just not very good quality feeling. It's also got this extra white bit, which, uh, sorry for the overexposure, um, you could see on the underside, and the top of it's covered by this sort of uh, velvety almost feeling material. Nasty looking glue. These shoes are quite old actually, and uh, um, some of the adhesives and some of the materials have gotten quite brittle and hard. Uh, which is one of the reasons I'm cutting it up in the first place. You can see over here I'm just uh, preparing to draw the line on the uh, top of it. And I've sped this up just a little bit because I was taking my time and um, there was a lot of fluff here as I was struggling with a variety of things. It makes an interesting sound as I'm trying to um, draw it on the bottom because of this um, zigzag tread. Again, sorry about the overexposure there, I fixed it a little bit, and uh, there'll be a few other points in the video where I was uh, struggling with the exposure. Um, here we go with the cutting. Through the top first, that's easy enough. The laces were surprisingly easy to cut through as well, actually. And then going through the back. Um, as you can see, I'm struggling with the rubber there at the bottom because it got very, very hard. Um, cutting along the bottom of the sole. Um, quite hard to do, again, mostly because of the zigzags trying to push the blade. Uh, I managed to do it mostly in a straight line, what you were seeing there, but that was because I'd already managed to um, sort of score the surface. It's a little bit hard to uh, find the right angle to um, cut and keep it on camera, um, so it isn't always perfectly centred, but um, I'll, I'll try and improve in future, but it is quite difficult to do. You can hear a sort of scraping sound, and I think that's the blade already cutting into the cardboard underneath, um, the sort of compressed cardboard that's under the insole. As you can see there, my blade got um, stuck in the rubber near the back and um, I had to just pull that out and reattach it to my scalpel. I was trying very hard not to go press too hard and go into the blanket underneath, which I was filming against. I'm almost done there. Now, whoops, <laughs> I hit the camera. Okay, now we're going to be moving on to the Great Reveal. Um, that's what it looks like inside. I will be going through how it's actually constructed in a fair bit of detail over here. So you can see near the back, what I'm trying to show you, but it's a bit difficult because of the, because of the exposure, is the um, layer of thick foam which is above the relatively thin rubber sole. They're the same colour and both, um, yeah, a bit hard to see. You can actually, this is quite a good angle where um, you can see the entire cross section of the shoe lengthwise. Um, I'll, I'll be taking it apart now, so you'll see. There's a bit of uh, foam inside the actual tongue. I was uh, a little bit surprised by that. Um, I don't know why, but I wasn't expecting there to be uh, two very thin layers with a bit of foam between them. I guess it just hadn't really felt that spongy. I 
And now I'm removing the little bits of lace I cut up earlier. That was actually a really satisfying feeling. Um, I'm thinking there should be some sort of stress relief toy which uh, involves pulling bits of string out of uh, tight holes. Now this compressed cardboard I was cutting into earlier while going from the soles side. Um, yeah, it, it was quite easy to pull out some parts of it, but it was uh, around the edges quite strongly adhered uh, to the inside. Again, it's hard to make uh, judgments because the shoe itself was quite old and uh, both the adhesives and the materials themselves were, I am pretty sure, affected by this. And then it got quite hard to pull out near the front, I remember that now. And um, yeah, you can see me struggling for a bit. By the way, uh, I'm probably going to keep this recording uh, in as I'm doing, sort of talking sporadically as there are things to mention. Um, that was really, really tight there. I just couldn't pull the two materials apart. Um, but if you would prefer either more or less talking, let me know because I'm willing to adapt my videos. What I'm pulling out here is the heel counter. Um, very, very hard, rigid plastic. It's meant to give your heel support in the back of the shoe. Uh, pretty ugly looking uh, adhesive on it at this point. Um, very thin uh, material this just inside around the heel. Um, I don't think it's leather at all. It sort of looks like it's leather from the inside, but um, just seems to be some sort of plastic coating for leather. And then I'm trying to show you that the tongue is uh, uh, sewn in over there. I finally want to try and get the rest of this uh, piece of compressed cardboard out. Yeah, the reason I'm offering to talk less is I think some people prefer the almost uh, ASMR-ish um, thing of destroying um, these close-ups and the, the sort of um, intense sounds you can hear of destroying the thing. Uh, not my cup of tea personally, but um, it's possible other people prefer it more. Now again, I'm trying to show you uh, the, the foam and I would like to remove that next. That is the foam um, under the heel, I mean under the full length of the shoe, just above the sole. Um, oh, I thought I was about to remove that. It turns out I'm trying to um, pull off the sides first. Whoops, struggling to keep it in frame there. Oops, that's starting to come out. Very, very thick plush foam. That's very nice feeling. Um, I suppose it is the main thing that provides padding under your foot. So, necessary for it to be of a decent thickness at least, but I was quite impressed by it. It comes out relatively easily. There we go. And I'm sort of arranging the things below, slightly messily. Um, the different layers as they come out, you can see the heel counter, the foam, the insole, and the compressed cardboard there. Trying to show that to the camera. Don't quite uh, know where the lens is. <laughs> and you can see the cross section of the shoe with uh, quite a bit of the stuff removed there. I would like to separate the, the bottom from the sides, but I really can't tear it away, and this is the point I'm realising that. <laughs> and I think in a moment you're going to see me use the scalpel to just cut round, as I can't figure out another way to do it. Yep. Quite sure what I'm trying to show you there. Probably that uh, it's very firmly attached. And cutting commences. You can get a great view of the back of my hand as I'm blocking um, the camera's view of it. 
Sorry about that. There we go. Overall, I'd say the construction of the shoe was... Um, I, I mean, I was quite surprised by how strong the adhesives were, so I was impressed with it on that front, and I was very impressed too with the, the thickness of that um, plush foam underfoot. I don't know how compressed that would be over time, but um, it, it felt very nice. Um, the rest of the materials, as you can see, the, the side I'm pulling off now, a lot of the other sort of internal non-leather materials were a bit rubbish feeling, a bit cheap. Um, not very, not very impressed with them there. The heel counter was quite rigid, but I mean, I. I don't know what uh, it could be made of that would make me any happier, besides, you know, hard plastic. I suppose you could probably make them out of leather, but um, not in a cheap shoe like this. And I'm trying to show you quite how thin the rubber on the sole is over here. It's not easy to do, but you think there's a couple of angles there where you can see, yeah, as I'm standing up on the edge, you can see how thin it is. It really is uh, quite flimsy, like I could see you wearing through that um, really in a matter of weeks. And then the last thing I haven't um, taken apart at all is I haven't pulled off this little white um, branded tab at the back which uh, has the brand name Lonsdale on it and I'm just removing the stitching with the scalpel now. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's actually leather, possibly the only part of the shoe that really is. Um, very cheap feeling, a little bit stuck on the back, but um, maybe it allows them to say that the upper is a mixture of leather and other materials. It wouldn't surprise me if that is the sole purpose of it. Uh, the outside material, the brown leather-esque, just the main material of the shoe doesn't actually feel like real leather to me at all. And you can see everything's arranged now. Entire shoe taken apart. I suppose there were a couple more layers in that side panel I could have uh, maybe separated from one another, but um, it was all basically cheap um, man-made materials. And that's all folks. If there is a, another pair of shoes you would like to see. I intend to hopefully do more of these based on reception. Um, that is the entire other half of the shoe not uh, taken apart. Arranged nicely in a little pile. And um, thank you for watching. If um, you would like to make any suggestions to the way I make these, if you don't like the vertical format, tell me. If you do like it, tell me. I think it's a little bit different. Maybe next time I'm going to try it in standard. I don't know. And here's a close up of the sole. Bye. insult.